for given gpa and modulus of rigidity is 40 gpa to stop find the bulk modulus and lateral con contraction of a round bar of 50 mm diameter and 2.5 meter long when stretched is 2.5 mm take poisonous ratio as 0.25 so first of all write down the given data for that so first it is given angst modulus that is e is equal to it is 120 gpa 120 gpa 120 gpa so that is it will be converted is in newton per mm square 120 into 10 raised to the power 3 newton per mm square newton per mm square then this one it is modulus of rigidity that is capital g so we can call it is shear modulus also okay 40 gpa 40 gpa so it will be also converted is in newton per mm square 40 into 10 raised to the power 3 newton per mm square okay then next one it is given find the bulk modulus that is k is equal to question mark k is equal to question mark then lateral construction of round bar and lateral construction that is means delta d we need to calculate change in diameter okay that is delta d delta d is equal to question mark delta d is equal to question mark okay then next one it is diameter of bar it is given capital d is equal to it is 50 mm 50 mm then length it is given l is equal to it is 2.5 meter 2.5 meter so it will be converted it is in mm 2.5 into 10 raised to the power 3 it will be getting mm that is 2500 2500 in mm okay so then next that it is what is given 2.5 stretch that is delta l is, is equal to when you apply force on that bat, it will be rod where it will be change in length it will be 2.5 mm it will be 2.5 mm okay then poisonous ratio it is also given that is mu is equal to mu is equal to i will write down here mu is equal to it will be 0 0.25 0 0.25 mu is equal to it is 0 0.25 0 0.25 okay so this data it is given for the calculating the bulk modulus and bulk modulus and delta d so you know that relation it is e is equal to it is 3k 3k in bracket 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 mu 1 minus 1 minus 2 into mu okay 1 minus 2 into mu so put all this value here it will be get k value from this relation okay so e is equal to it is 120 into 10 raised to the power 3 10 raised to the power 3 is equal to 3 3 into 3 into k k in bracket 1 minus 1 minus 2 into 1 minus 2 into mu it will be 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 so only a unknown value it is here only unknown value it will be here k value so it will be get k from this relation okay so 3 into 1 minus 2 into 0.25 into 3. So it will be 120 into 10 raised to the power 3 divided by answer. It will get 1 into 2 into 0.25 into 3. 120 into 10 raised to the power 3 divided by answer. It will get 80 into 10 raised to the power 3. So k is equal to 80 into 10 raised to the power 3 newton per mm square. Newton per mm square. That is in GPA it will be divided by 10 raised to the power 3. It will be get 80 GPA. 80 GPA. Okay. The next calculate. Next question it is lateral construction. Lateral construction means that is delta L. So first, first of all calculate linear strain. Linear strain. Linear strain is equal to we know that. Linear strain is equal to it is that is denoted by small e, it is delta L by L. Change in length divided by original length. Delta L by L. Delta L by L. Okay. Delta L by L. Change in length divided by original length. So delta L it will be 2.5 mm. 2.5 mm. And length it will be 2.5 meter. Total length it will be 2.5 meter. That is 2,000. 2,500 in mm. Okay. 
So linear strength that is small e, it will be get small e is equal to it will be 2.5 divided by 2500. So it will be 1 into 10 raised to the minus 3. 1 into 10 raised to the minus 3. It will be linear strength. Okay. Suppose if you apply force on that rod, this one will be P force. So parallel to this force we call it is parallel to this force we call it is this one it is linear strain okay this change in length we call it is linear strain okay when change is diameter we call it is lateral strain okay so poisonous ratio means what poisonous ratio poisonous ratio is equal to poisonous ratio it is equal to lateral strain by linear strain poisonous ratio it is lateral strain divided by divided by linear strain lateral strain divided by linear strain this is we call it is poisonous ratio lateral strain divided by linear strain linear strain okay linear strain so poisonous ratio you will know that it will be 0.25 is equal to lateral strain it will be unknown we need to calculate lateral strain lateral strain L -A -T -R -A. lateral strain lateral strain linear strain we calculated that is it is 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 3. 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 3. Minus 3. So we will be get lateral strain from this relation. So lateral strain is equal to. So I will write down here. Lateral strain is equal to. Lateral strain is equal to. So it will be. 0.25 into 1 into 10 raised to minus 3, it will be 2.5, 2.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 4, 10 raised to the power minus 4, that is lateral strain, okay. So lateral strain means what? Now lateral strain is equal to, lateral strain is equal to, lateral strain is equal to, it will be delta D by D, it is delta D by D, change in diameter divided by original diameter change in diameter divided by original diameter okay change in diameter divided by original diameter so we know that diameter it is diameter it is we know that so lateral strain it is lateral strain will be how much Sorry. delta d by d delta d by d lateral strain it is delta d by d okay so now Calculate lateral strain. It we know that it is 2.5, 2.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 is equal to delta D. It is unknown. We need to calculate delta D. So diameter of bar it is given. That is diameter of bar. We know that diameter of bar it is D. It is 50 mm. 50 mm. 50 mm. So it will be get delta D. Delta D is equal to change in diameter is equal to change in diameter is equal to change in diameter is equal to 2.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 into 50. So it will be 0 0.0125 125 mm. Okay. Change in diameter it is 0 0.0125 mm and bulk modulus it is. ATGPA. Okay. So this one it is solution for that. Okay.